What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and Apple has released macOS Ventura Beta 6 to developers, and hopefully a little bit later they'll release it to public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new in macOS Ventura Beta 6. If you were to go to About This Mac and then press on More Info, we see we have an F at the end of the build number. Before I believe it was D, but now has changed to F, which indicates that macOS Ventura has been delayed, but we do have a bunch of interesting changes in macOS Ventura, and I'll show you them right now. The first thing is, if we go to Safari and then go to about Safari, we see that we have Safari 16.1. So it looks like Apple started beta testing version 16.1 in macOS Ventura. Not sure about iPadOS, I'm guessing that is also on version 16.1. Oh, and speaking of Safari, Apple did not release a Safari technology preview. We were to go to WebKit right here and then download for macOS. Where it says to download it, get one for Ventura now, but we do not have one for Big Sur. So I think Apple might have ended support for Big Sur a little bit earlier this year and they're ending it with Catalina, unfortunately. So it does look like Apple is going to release Safari 16.0 with macOS Monterey, but I'm pretty sure there was a Big Sur, and I'm pretty sure they released version 16.0 on macOS Big Sur. Probably not 16.1 anymore, unfortunately. So if your Mac supports macOS Monterey, I would recommend going to Software Update and updating as soon as possible. We have a few changes in the System Settings app. First and foremost, we have changes to the alert sound right here. So, so if we were to hover over it, we now need to hover it for a little bit longer. And this UI over here is also a little bit smaller. If we go to general, we no longer have profiles right here. This is because it has been moved down to privacy and security. If we scroll down, we see that profiles is now down here with extensions right here. I don't know why Apple decided to take this change because profiles on iOS are in general. Maybe that will get reverted back, it might stay like that, it might switch to that in iOS 16, who knows. We also have some interesting news, so you see that just comes up right away before we just like scroll down like that. I don't know why Apple has changed that, it's pretty weird. I'm guessing that is, and hoping that is a bug since it looked a lot better. So there's like a little delay there now. You can also see this if you go to Siri and Spotlight, it's just like these types of menus that do this. Wonder if Apple's gonna fix that, I hope they do. In the clock app, if we go to stopwatch right here and click right here, we now have an actual stopwatch right here. So this is the same exact stopwatch as we have in iOS. And unfortunately, I cannot check on the alarms bug yet because your Mac needs to like turn off automatically and then it will just randomly play. This was not fixed in beta 5. Let's hope that it is fixed in beta 6. It was fixed in beta 3 but broke again in beta 4 right here are now a lot smaller. So before they used to be a lot thicker, but now they're smaller for some reason. The only one I have is can't download fonts. The workaround to this is to open up font book and to simply just drag the font into the font book. And as you can see, it will download just like that. I'm gonna run a Geekbench test and see if macOS Ventura Beta 6 is better than Beta 5. And to also to show you if it's on par, which already is a single core and a 4693 on the multi-core. Single core doesn't really matter here, but multi core did improve on macOS Ventura. Now let's compare it to Monterey right here. We got a 1733 on Monterey and 7599 on Monterey. Ventura is actually faster than Monterey as it was last week, so it may be a good reason to update when it does come out. Device. I say, no, don't do it. If you may have not noticed yet, I have a different set of icons on my dock. The reason is because my Wi Fi decided to stop working one day and it completely like broke my Mac. I couldn't use the internet or anything. Thing. Hopefully that gets fixed by the final release. I'm guessing it got fixed or something like that in beta 6. Wouldn't be 100% sure about that. And if you're wondering about the messages bug, that does seem to remain non-existent in macOS Ventura beta 6. So if you're worried about the messages bug, I have not gotten it once yet, and I did not even get it once in beta 5. But beta 4 and below, I did get it all the time. Now what can we expect next from Apple? So next is probably going to be iOS 16 release candidate. And I say it's going to release after this Apple event right here, I don't think we're going to be getting a beta 8 on iOS 16. The reason is because it has an A at the end of the build number right there. And with macOS Ventura beta 7, I think it will release with the Apple event or it will release the day after. I kind of doubt that we're going to get a beta next week because Apple seems to be on a two week schedule with macOS. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!